guys, MJ here from Nightwalker Gear. My goal is to get you equipped with the best possible lights and gear to accomplish whatever you need. So today I'll show you the latest Nightcore LR70 3-in-1 Lantern Flashlight. Now lanterns traditionally look like this, right? And they do one thing and one thing only, light up the surrounding area. But lanterns of the future look like this. Right? And they do way more than just light up a small area. After this video, you'll get a clear understanding of how to pick the right lantern and if you should get one or more for your walk or adventure. Right, before we begin, if you want to win this latest LR70 lantern flashlight, do subscribe to this channel and comment below on how you put these new lantern lights to good use. Right, once you hit 500 likes, I'll pick one winner and announce them in the description box below. So the problem with lantern lights today, there are thousands of them out there. From the cheap ones you find at the dollar store, to lifestyle models like this LR40 here, then they got your Decathlon ones all the way to the high-end work lights like the ALS ones here with motion sensors. Then moving up to actual work lights, you got Milwaukee brands and so on and so forth. So how do you know what to buy when there are so many choices? Right, there are three things I look out for when buying lantern lights. Number one is always runtime because Lantern lights are meant to be left somewhere while you get stuff done. Be it setting up a work site, packing up your gear, or just as a safety marker. Right, so it has to last several hours or several nights of continuous use. Right, the cheap ones can last a couple hours, one night at best, while the higher end ones will go up to 10 hours, covering you for several nights. The LR70 here goes up to 60 hours on 55 lumens. That's 7 nights if you leave it on for 8 hours every night. Right, 55 lumens is not the brightest, but in darkness, it's more than enough to help you find your way around. Now your phone's flashlight is around 50 lumens in one direction, where this is 50 lumens all around. So you can sort of imagine how bright it is. So if that's not enough, you can push it to the highest mode here at 400 lumens. Now this runs for 7 hours. Just press the front button here and it cycles through low, medium, high, 5 lumens. 55 lumens and 400 lumens. Now it is overwhelmingly bright and it's actually very glaring, right? You can see this lighting up a big room or wide area for setup. The older models like the LR50 here, LR60 can only reach 280 lumens. So this new LR70 has doubled the brightness. Another important thing to note is glaring because it uses 20 hour facing CRI LEDs under the diffuser. I can't remove the LR70 cover because it's glued shut but you can see the same design on the older LR60 here. Right, on the older models, you only have three here on each side, right? Three on top, whereas the LR70, you have seven here, seven here, and six up top, so it's 20 LEDs in total. The LEDs surround two massive 500 mAh batteries for maximum runtime. So there's no wasted space, it's a completely efficient design. The older LR50 had the same idea but just with smaller 18650 batteries here. So lesser runtime. So in case you have never seen this type of 21700 batteries before, one of this is the equivalent of 18 pieces of AA batteries and these are rechargeable. So that's how you get so much runtime out of the LR70 because they are not using a tiny battery pack somewhere at the base like this LA30 here, right? More than half of the LR70 is the battery. Two of them are inside here. Now some lanterns will only have one bright LED at the base, let's say this flashlight here. Slap on a cone like this or sometimes a collapsible plastic cover on top and call it a lantern. Those have very poor lighting efficiency and I wouldn't trust the brightness measurements on those. The second thing I look out for when buying lanterns is a constant red light mode. It must be bright enough to light up an area and have constant blinking to use as a marker or SOS light. When it lights out, many will switch to red LED because it doesn't attract flying insects. If you spend any time in a forest, you know that as soon as you turn on a white light, you'll be swarmed with flying insects, right? The brighter your light, the more bugs you attract, especially those high power headlamps, right? All the bugs will be just swarming around your face. To get the red light on the LR70, just double tap here on the side to get the 2 lumen red. This runs for 260 hours. Tap again and it brings you to a very decent 10 lumens that runs a crazy 80 hours. Okay, so if you need light discipline, you want to preserve your night vision, up close map reading, right? Those of you doing astrophotography, this is perfect. Tap again and it brings you to beacon mode. Tap again, it goes to SOS, 3 long, 3 short. So these are great as safety markers. Now you can hang them on the bag with a carabiner like this so you stay visible. The loop here falls away nicely when not in use. Beacon mode does a slow flash 
where SOS does uh, three long and three short blinks. Some clients use this mode to warn others of steep drops if they are camping at the side of a mountain or, or warn others of 10 lines. Just hang it over your tripod so that others don't trip over it. Now the third thing I look out for when buying lanterns is that it has to be packable. This is how typical lantern designs are. Very nice, very nostalgic. They are perfect for specific type of campers. But if you're more on the serious side, this does not pack well at all. Now how many of these can you fit in a backpack or toolkit compared to the LR70? Look at the space it takes up in your bag. Especially if you're flying overseas, you want to pack ultralight. This is the last thing you want to bring multiples of. Many lantern designs have a ton of wasted space just to get that glowing 360 effect from a single LED. You can fit three LR70s in place of one LR40. Pro tip, if you want to protect the LR70 during transport, it does fit in a MPP30 pouch here. Charging cables can go inside with the light, while the loops on the outside can fit other handy lights and beacons like the MT2A Pro here, or if you want to spear us M10 using AAA batteries, they can all slot here. You can also fit in uh, NU11, the NU06 LE beacons. So this essentially becomes your lighting pouch so you know exactly where to look when you need lights. They're all packed here within easy reach. So those are the three things I look out for. Runtime, red light, packable size, but we are not done yet. Now past this point is where the LR70 starts to do things far beyond any normal lantern light. It starts with this insane 3000 lumen flashlight built right into the base of the lantern. The flashlight button is on the side here. So press and hold. It cycles between the modes. Even if you are on low, you can double tap to get to 3000 lumens turbo for 30 seconds, hitting up to 300 meters before dropping down to a lower mode to prevent overheating. Now this comes in useful for so many scenarios, right? A typical lantern light can't reach that far. You can now use this flashlight for getting around spotting dangers up ahead, lighting up the tree line when you hear something coming. This is essentially two lights packed side by side, both powered by 5000mAh batteries. The best part at 1000 lumens, the run time is 10 hours. Now find me a 1000 lumen flashlight like this that can run for 10 hours without a battery change. Right, none, because it doesn't exist. This is the first of its kind. The runtime is more than double that of the latest MH12 Pro, which already does an incredible four and a half hours on just one battery. The LR70 has blurred the lines between lantern lights and handheld flashlights. They tried to do this in the past with the LR12 here, which could switch between flashlight mode, right here, flashlight, and lantern by twisting the base. Right now you got a lantern. But this had nowhere near the function and brightness of the LR70, much less runtime. It does also remember what brightness you left the flashlight in. You can easily switch between lantern modes and flashlight modes by pressing the relevant buttons in either mode. Right, so this is flashlight mode. Tap lantern here to go to lantern mode. Cycle up. And you can tap the flashlight button here to go to flashlight mode. It's as simple as that. There are also grooves in the diffuser to help with grip when you're using the flashlight mode so it doesn't feel like it will just slide out of your hand when it's sweaty or if it's raining or when you're wearing gloves. Your thumb rests perfectly on the button when in this forward grip. It's quite hard to mistake the buttons because of how you will be holding it for the mode you want to use. Forward grip this way. Right, your thumb is here. Then if you want to do lantern mode, you will hold it like this to press the button here to switch to lantern mode. Right, the whole ergonomics of using this is very, very nicely done. Now, the last game-changing part, because it has such a huge capacity at 10,000 milliampere, it's essentially a power bank like the Carbo 10K or MB10K. So why not make it one, right? So they did exactly that. This is airline approved and it can charge in and out via the USB C port here. 18 watts QC and PD fast charging, zero to full in just two hours, 50 minutes. That's very, very fast considering how long you can use the light for. This again has so many users. It replaces and adds backup and redundancy to your overall travel kit. Packing three of this will not only give you three backups of your flashlight, it gets you three backups of your power bank as well. Charge your phones, your other lights, your GPS devices, and if you have a portable solar panel like the FSP30, you can charge your LR70 off-grid as well. So if you're wondering how to tell if the battery is full, there's a built-in indicator up top. Right? Just tap either button when the light is off and the blue light will flash three times over 50%. It flashes two times, it's under 50%. And it just flashes once, it means it's at 10%, it needs to be charged. At this point, you might be wondering, at around 100 USD, I could buy a bunch of cheaper lantern lights. Right, instead of just one. Yes, but can that lantern light double as a 3000 lumen, 300 meter flashlight? No, right? You need to spend another $100 
just to get a decent one with the same level of performance as this. And to get a decent power bank, you need to spend another $100 just to get 18 watts QC and PD charging. So for me, I'd rather buy multiples of the LR70 to get backups of everything versus trying to buy the best of each tool that adds weight to my travel pack. And that's why the LR70 has changed the future of lantern lights. These are now true multi-purpose tools that replace a bunch of traditional items. Your lantern, your flashlight, your power bank, and even glow stick beacons. And these are not by the way features, right? The lantern is solid, the flashlight is solid, and the power bank is a real 18 watt charger that has the same specs as our carbon 10k power banks. So should you buy the LR70? For me, it's a 100% yes across all three fronts. If you need a lantern, get the LR70. If you need a flashlight, get the LR70. If you just need a power bank, you could get the LR70 as well. This is what I'm taking whenever I travel along with the MT2A Pro. I've given this out to friends who are traveling a lot and they all come back and say that these are incredibly useful. So after seeing all the incredible features of the LR70, can you imagine using it on your next trip? Not just one, maybe even many. If each person on your team has an LR70, the amount of safety and backup gear you guys have will be greatly increased. You don't have to be traveling to use this. The LR70 is perfect at home, storeroom, the garage, vehicle, glove box. Keep one close by for any kind of emergency. Right, these are all in stock now at nightcallites.com slash LR70. There is a bulk discount option, so it's perfect if you're buying for your team, family or friends. This has sold out before and this will sell out again, so order yours today. Once your order is placed, we will carry everything to your door within a couple of days. Link to orders in the description below. We do ship worldwide via DHL and as usual, this comes with our 30-day money-back guarantee and fast-free one-year warranty, so there's no risk at all. That's it. If you'd like to see more videos like this where we help you choose the best lights for your work adventure, subscribe below and I'll see you on the next video here. Right, MJ signing up.